Good morning, everybody. My name is Leonid Oldenburg. I'm from University of Osnabrück. I'm in Rudi Garol's developer team. And I would like to talk to you about video lectures on mobile devices using Opencast Matterhorn as content repository. Um, Martin Cooper, a Motorola engineer, telephoned with his new invention, a mobile phone, in 1973. And uh, today, 40 years later, the mobile phone has, has become a powerful multimedia device with a lot of uh, different uh, manufacturers and uh, different markets where different uh, applications are di um, distributed. And, uh, and uh, the knowledge transfer is spread over individual applications. Uh, the mobile web is app-driven. The students consume learning material on their mobile devices. They exchange um, learning material through their mobile devices. They um, watch lectures on their mobile devices and so on. Matterhorn to go started in September 2011 is uh, student project and is now a front end of the recorded video material produced with the Opencast Matterhorn system. And it's fully open source application for all users around the world. And it's available in Google Play and Apple Store for free. The technology of Matterhorn to go, it works with um, Apache Flex, which is the compiler and the um, developer um, um, SDK and Adobe Air, the runtime container for um, different uh, um, different devices and open source media framework uh, like uh, the lecture to go, the same one. And the result is a single code base that can deploy on multiple devices and platforms. Um, here we see the user environment of Matterhorn to go. And on the left side, uh, there is a serious view. At the top, we see the content uh, bar with uh, three buttons. On the left side is uh, a menu button. On the right is the sort button and search button. Um, the students have the possibility to select one series and um, start and the next view, this, this is the episodes new and um, from this view the users can start the next view, it's the video description view uh, with different metadata informations and um, here we have the possibility to download the video and um, play this video. We have three different uh, state views. The first one is the professor, the presenter. The second one is uh, the lecture slides. And uh, we can watch them together as parallel view. Um, since April in 2013, the German internet provider Telekom um, would like to uh, to do a limit a traffic limit for the internet households and uh, uh, the traffic limit uh, will become expensive there is every, everywhere an internet connection but uh, and there's not every <laughs> internet connection excuse me and uh, the repeated request to the same data is not efficient because of this reason, uh, we started to develop Matterhorn to go as an uh, offline application um, possibility. The requirements for Matterhorn to go are at first uh, um, running Opencast Matterhorn system, and an advantage would be an RTMP streaming. Um, with Vosa server, Adobe Media server, or Red5 server. And um, your workflows should support the creation of flash video and MPEG formats. 
how to use Matter on the go at your institution. Um, on the left side, we have the Matterhorn is adopters view. There are two possibilities to uh, use Matterhorn with your institutions. The first one is the public. You have to write an uh, email to Rüdiger Rolf and he will put your adopter to the public uh, web uh, service. And uh, the second one is the private. It's, uh, you can, you can see at the bottom different icons. You can add there, uh, your adopter and, uh, do the authentication if you want. And, yes. And you can use your adopter with the Matterhorn application. Um, a five years study by Flory Analytics, uh, found out that uh, um, that uh, users uh, don't use uh, web browsers anymore on their mobile devices. They use, yeah, they spend more time with applications, uh, 80% and only 20% with uh, web browsers on mobile devices. Um, we had uh, from September 2012 to January 2013, over 1,000 uh, 1, installations. And these installations were 52% um, on Android devices and 48% uh, 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 on iOS devices. Um, if you can see, uh, there are around about 39% of Android smartphones around about 25% on iPhones, uh, around about 21% on iPads, and uh, only 13% on uh, Android tablets. And there's uh, only 2% on iPods. <laughs> what we found out, um, we have uh, the access logs from Apache um, web service, and uh, we found out that, um, um, that the students use this application and uh, if you see the red curve, it's in January 2013. It's the last month for, before uh, exam time and uh, we found out that in this time the application was used more than before. And uh, the other curves show only normal behavior. Um, and there's another point which we found out is uh, that from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. the application was used on day most. And now I would like to show you the OpenCast uh, Web, Opencast Matterhorn website, Matterhorn to go website, excuse me. Okay, I have done it too much. Um, the Matterhorn to go website is supported by Virtuos, and uh, we have uh, the iOS application and the Android application. We can go to the Apple Store. Both are for free. Okay. Um, and now I would like to show you a presentation on the Nexus 10. Okay, uh, this tablet has no internet connection now. I will start the application. And here I have the history view. I downloaded yesterday uh, some um, lectures, which I can sh uh, watch offline now, in the garden, in the park, or in the train.
Okay, we see here the presenter and the lecture slides and um, I have no tool. And uh, now it's playing without internet connection, it's offline mode and I can seek to different positions at the video. I can choose another view, only the presenter or the lecture slides, use parallel view. Okay, um, this is completely offline mode and the same thing on the smartphone, it's the Nexus 4. Um, with my smartphone I have an uh, internet connection now and I can, can download the video, I can watch it. Here is a small video from Virtuos. This is the stream. And now I can download this video and watch it offline too. I choose another one. Okay, now it's downloaded. And this is the offline mode. I can switch off my Wi-Fi connection and start the application again. Okay. Um, thank you for your attention. Okay. Are there any, any questions? questions? Ah, in the back. Wait one sec. Yes, Eric from the United Nations University in Bonn, Eric Tambo. Um, I was in two sessions yesterday in the other rooms and um, they was also struggling with uh, new players for Matterhorn, but they have the problem that they cannot show two stream on one iOS devices since yes. it looks like it's a recommendation of Apple or something like that. How do you cope with this problem uh, with your... Uh, and with your installation, uh, we are using the uh, open source media framework. I think uh, yesterday the developer of the other player used another one, and uh, we developed our own um, media container which display us the video on the mobile devices with uh, with action script, and it works. Okay. Any other questions? Hi there, so I've just got, uh, it's Björn, uh, Cambridge University, I've just got um, a few technical questions. Okay. Uh, one question is, the streams that come off Matterhorn, yes. um, presumably you use a lower bitrate stream that needs to be um, provided by Matterhorn. Okay. And then, then related to that, so you mentioned that you have a streaming server, but presumably for download you want to have an HTTP delivery to the phone. Um. And then third question, once it's on the phone, does the app allow you to manage the cached data so you can see which ones you have and then delete the ones you don't want? Okay, uh, the first question, um, for downloads of videos we use uh, Progressive uh, um, and uh, the streams are in low quality. And uh, the second question is an interesting question, which uh, has been to discuss 
because uh, we are not sure if it's available now, but we can uh, close the media folder in the mobile devices and they are only on the mobile devices and they are not uh, exchangeable for to other people. And so, um, but, but different quality uh, streams aren't currently part of the Matterhorn default, right? Yes. So you'd have to have amend your workflow to generate those yeah. low quality streams. Yes, we have a workflow for low quality okay. on Excellent. all mobile devices. Okay, thank you. Okay. Where are the, the, the cache videos? Is that possible to, uh, to download the video and to say that he uh, save it in a kind of external um, smart card so that I think the capacity, the hard disk of the mobile phone are not so big, so to put it on the uh, on the external hard drive, and if it's the case, is that only possible to read that from the phone? So the idea is more so to kind to have an offline archive of um, of these videos. If somebody can have an offline archive of the videos, and maybe on the on the yes on the hard not on the hard disk, but on this on this this small disk, and then maybe read it from another from another devices. Um, um, one video is only 300 MB and uh, the presenter slides are only 50 MB and it's, I'm not sure if I understand the question right. <laughs> um. I think he was asking if it is possible to um, interchange the videos on a um, yeah, smart card or this um uh, yes, it is possible. It's now it's implemented uh, that uh, the Matterhorn to go uh, directory on the mobile devices is uh, public, and you can exchange uh, this video. But uh, the second question was from um, the back: that is it allowed to uh, distribute all the videos about uh, this functionality, and it have to be to discussed if the um, videos will stay um, exchangeable. Um, another question for myself: um, okay. Is it possible to to access, um, yeah, somehow um, videos that is that are in public? For instance, if you are a student at university and the lecturer decides to to um, yeah to to uh, make the yeah lecture recordings not uh, yeah visible to the pub public. Um, only for the course, so is it um, possible for students of this course to access these videos with this app? Um, we have the Matterhorn authentication. Uh, the users have the possibility to use uh, an authentication, authentication function um, with the Matterhorn server and uh, if the videos are not public, you can authenticate you and uh, look the non-public videos. So since we still have some time left, it would be a cool idea if you just can put these devices on the table in the front and maybe everyone who's interested just go ahead and have a look on these uh, nice yeah, apps. Okay. So. Thank you. Further remarks, questions? Okay, then that's it.